in the quiet moments working alone in her office, Riverside County Superior Court Judge Irma Poole Asbury is a study in professionalism and dignity. She's the most dignified one of us by far. Um, she, she never loses her temper or her tone, um, no matter how stressed it is. But I consider her most uh, important trait is her tenacity. Tenacity and rising to challenges are disciplines Judge Asbury has refined since the very beginning of her career. When I came to Riverside, there weren't uh, very many African-American attorneys, even fewer African-American women attorneys. So it was very important to me when I went to court that I, I was prepared, that my pleadings were well done, and that I did a good presentation. And it was very, very important that I had um, uh, credibility with my colleagues and with the court. I think that was very, very important. I think people watch for that. Being the first African-American female judge ever in Riverside County, Judge Asbury knows that her success is dependent upon community involvement beyond the bench. And it all began with her greatest role model. Uh, growing up, my mother was a person, she was always involved in the community. She was involved in PTA and Girl Scouts and Y Teens and Red Cross and just doing uh, things all the time because she believed it was important that everybody gave back to the community. So um, I sort of grew up like that. She was the president of our county bar. She um, sits on numerous panels. Um, speakers bureaus, uh, anything her for, for schools. She speaks at schools. She's she um, she participates in anything she's asked to participate in. Judge Asbury's penchant for giving back to her community continued during her tenure at Butterwick, Bright, Pettis, and Cunnison. There, it was an expectation to get involved and give back. Dating back even earlier was her very first and impressionable visit to USD. I was so warmly greeted by wonderful staff people. They were so interested and happy that I came there that it actually it made me feel really good. It made me want to attend there. The students were just so interested in making sure they were helping each other. All of us were trying to help each other to do well you know, in class, do well in answering uh, information, do well in doing research. And uh, that sort of stuck with me. It, it, it appeared it was something that really USD fostered. They wanted students to help each other to succeed. And that was something that really went on um, afterwards, something I used in my practice, something I even use now as a judicial officer. Prior to her appointment, Judge Asbury practiced law for 26 years, primarily in family law, with occasional work in juvenile, adoptions, guardianships, and bankruptcy. She describes some of her most rewarding work was as minors counsel through appointments from courts in Riverside and San Bernardino counties. Over the years, Judge Asbury has passionately given her time to youth church ministries. She and her husband have been married for 34 years and have a daughter and two grandchildren. All are grateful for the foundation provided by her USD education. I think she's very, very thankful for the education she got at University of San Diego School of Law. I think it's allowed her to accomplish things beyond her wildest dreams, and I know she's appreciative. I know she and I look forward to participating in different events for the school. I am so appreciative of the Dean for doing the alumni lunches. The first time I went to one, I was really amazed. I saw some of my colleagues there, and we laughed. We didn't even know that the other was alumni of USD. It was really wonderful to see that. USD School of Law is equally as appreciative to count Judge Asbury among one of their most distinguished alumni.